Today, me and Steve are flying first class to Cleveland, Ohio for the Jake Paul Tyron Woodley fight. My goal by the end of this trip is simple. One high five from either of the fighters. So I told you we're going on a trip. I told you to pack a bag, but Correct. I didn't tell you where we're going or what we're doing. Correct. Any guesses? I hope it's somewhere that has a beach because that's pretty much all I packed. We're going to Cleveland. So we're not going to the beach. I know you don't like flying, yeah, but I got a surprise for you. Okay. We're flying first class today. Wow. Have you, ever, da. <laughs> you ever fly first class before? No. Really? <laughs> no. Have you? No. I want my 65 bucks back. All right, so uh, first class. A little disappointing. A little disappointing. Had about an inch and a half of extra leg room and some stale pretzels. But we made it, we're here in Cleveland. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then call an Uber. So I told Steve that I'm calling an Uber, but I'm actually surprising him. Our good friend Tom is actually picking us up from the airport. He lives in Cleveland. We're gonna hang out with him all night. Tom, you're supposed to stay in the car. You're supposed to stay in the car. The Uber driver's name's Tom. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Can you tell me? <laughs> I did. <laughs> so Tom was nice enough to pick us up. We're driving, whoa! <laughs> we're driving to the, the hotel to check in and then we're all gonna get dinner. What do you recommend for dinner? I feel you're a chicken guy. You feel correctly. <laughs> like... I think I messed up. Why? We got one king bed in here. <laughs> oh. All right, we're snuggling up close. I call Big Spoon. I definitely booked two full beds. I didn't book two full beds. I forgot I booked the king bed because it was cheaper. Mitchell's ice cream in Cleveland. You could even see the factory. It's 11 p.m. on a Saturday. They're still working hard. That's top notch. That's good ice cream. Absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna give it a 9.1. Steve? <sighs> I still can't believe we have to share a bed. Cleveland? Fantastic. Really nice I, I city. Yeah. Great food. Great yep. ice cream. Great atmosphere. Great atmosphere. Great people. Great pe Speaking of Everything. people, we saw Jake Paul and Logan Paul's mom, Pam Paul, or Pam, Pam Stepnick. Lovely lady. Great. I should have high-fived her. No, that doesn't count, though. All right, the big fight is tomorrow. I'm actually really excited. We're about to go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. I got to brush my teeth. Okay, the bathroom's right there, buddy. I also forgot my toothbrush. Thanks so much. Now we're going to sleep. Actually, I could use a water. All right, it's the morning of the fight. We're outside on our way to grab some breakfast. I slept terribly last night between him punching me in the face and the air conditioning. I slept fine. I'm happy for you. So Steve's really not into this boxing match at all. So to make things more interesting, we're each gonna bet $50 of our own money. Mm -hmm. And depending on how much we win or lose in the bet, it determines our final meal here in Cleveland. So who are we betting on then? You got thousands of people betting on Jake Paul, thousands of people betting on Tyron Woodley. What if, hear me out, Okay. what if we bet that the fight's gonna end in a draw? Not I know it's probably, it's not gonna happen, but if it does, dude, we would win like thousands of dollars. Ooh, we'd be eating steak and lobster. So we decided to come to a baseball game because it's so close to our hotel. And then the second we got here, a giant thunderstorm showed up. Hey, a little thunderstorm's not gonna stop me from enjoying a baseball game. They're not even playing. Wow. Well. 
What do you call a fish with no F? An ish? <laughs> no, a fish with no eyes. That's no what. Eyes. Dang it! I screwed it up. It's. What do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. <laughs> All right. So today we experience Cleveland. It's fight time. Ugh. I got us a surprise. Oh, all right. I bought us Look two at pairs this. of sockum boppers, oh. and we're about to fight it out. Tom, you're I'm referee. Let's we'll go with no air. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we're gonna be knocked out before the fight. <laughs> Nice clean fight. Tap gloves. Ah, I hurt. Oh, sorry. Ding, ding, ding. Boxing's hard. It's tough. <laughs> the winner of this fight, in the red, frustrated gamer. Woo! <laughs> Will we win $2,000? Will there be a draw? We got Easy. It. We got it. Easy. And I'm still getting that high five by the end of the night. So we were this close to winning $2,000. It was a split decision, which is as close to a draw as you can get. We're circling around the stadium, hoping to run into Jake or Tyron. At this point, I just want to find a guy named Jake or Tyron. Just any any Jake or Tyron? Do it doesn't even matter if it's Jake Paul. I'm just going to find a guy named Jake. Excuse me. Are you sure if your name's Jake? No. Any of your name's Jake? Yeah. No. My name's Jake. No. Oh, God. Your name's Jake? Jake? Yeah. Wait, actually? Yeah. There it is. I did it. Mike Malak, my guy. I Love the pot. I appreciate you. So we got a high five from a guy named Jake. We even found Jake Paul's good friend Mike and got a high five from him. But we did lose our bet. Yeah, we did. So our final meal in Cleveland, we're gonna be splitting a, a pop tart. Not steak and lobster. If you thought I was getting us first class on the way home, sadly mistaken.